Students, most of the time we do say that it was cool in the morning and now it's too much hot or now noon was very hot but suddenly it has started raining in the evening. What does it show students? It shows changes in atmospheric conditions at a place which are short lived. We call it as weather, but if such kind of conditions remain for a longer time, then it is called climate. Okay, students, have you understood this? Now, students, observe the table and try to answer the questions. First of all, we shall read the questions and then we will try to give answers with the help of map. So, we will read it first. The weather conditions of a few places in India are as follows. On 10th June, use the table to answer the questions. Observe the table carefully student. Now, we will learn about the questions. In which place will the clothes on a clothes line dry quickly? Why? In which place will they dry slowly? Why? Will the atmospheric conditions at these places always remain the same or will they change? Before giving answer to these questions, students, we will have some information about it. Okay, students? So, let's learn. In the table, three places are mentioned. First one, Kochi. It is in the southern part of India. It falls in the hot region. It is in temperate zone. Second one, Bhopal. It is in the middle part of India, from where Tropic of Cancer passes through. This region also comes under the hot region, that is temperate zone. Third one, Masuri. It is in the northern part of India. It is located on 2005 meter high from the sea level. So, here we find the weather is cool in summer too. Now, we shall try to give answers of the questions. The first question in which place will the clothes on a clothes line dry quickly? Why? Okay, student, can you tell me? Type your answer in the comment box. Now, let me tell you. In Bhopal, the clothes will dry quickly because as I have told you before that the Tropic of Cancer passes through Madhya Pradesh and it is in temperate zone. So, the water in the wet clothes gets converted into vapor quickly and the clothes will dry within a short time. Okay, students, have you understood? Now, the second question. In which place will it dry slowly? Why? Students, as I have told you before, Masuri is located to the north of Tropic of Cancer and located on 2005 meter high from the sea level. Hence, it is very cool place, okay, at the high mountain. So, it receives less solar heat. The air there is cool due to its location on mountain. Clothes take longer time to dry here because of cool air and mild sun. 
and Kochi is in between equator and tropic of Cancer. And the month of June has started. So here the weather will be cloudy and there will be moisture in the weather or air. Hence, it will take a long time for the clothes to dry. Okay, students, have you understood this much? Such kind of situations you may have observed at your place too. Hey, students, are you? You can tell me by commenting in the comment box if you have experienced such kind of situations at your place. Now, students, we will learn about the last question. Will the atmospheric conditions at these places always remain the same or will they change? Students, as we have studied the weather conditions of a few places in India on 10th June, we see difference in atmospheric conditions. In the same way, the atmospheric conditions go on changing. It will not remain the same. Okay, students, I hope you have understood this much. Now, we shall move forward. Students, here are some of the statements related to the atmospheric conditions. Just you have to find out which one is applicable to you or have you experienced it today or yesterday at your place. First, it was cold in the morning. Second, in the afternoon, it became sultry or humid. Third, it rained suddenly in the afternoon. Fourth, cool breeze was blowing at dawn. Fifth, clouds gathered in the evening. Sixth, the night sky was full of stars and a pleasant breeze was blowing. Okay, student, if you ask me, I would like to tell you what I have experienced. See, it was cold in the morning. Then, It rained suddenly in the afternoon as well as clouds gathered in the evening. So, these all these statements are related to the conditions where I live and that I have experienced. Okay, student, tell your answer by commenting below the video. Okay. Now, students, students, in the beginning of the video, I have given you an example that we always say that cold breeze was blowing in the morning. It is somewhat hot in the afternoon and it is warm still in the evening. So, here we are stating the atmospheric conditions that are changing time to time at a particular place. Such kind of atmospheric condition is called weather that are short-lived. These conditions are short-lived. For example, we say the weather is hot, cool, dry, sultry or humid. Okay, student, have you understood what is mean by weather? Now, we will study about climate. Now, students, since your childhood, you have experienced many summers, rainy seasons and winters. Then, can you tell me 
in which months do you find summer the rainy season and the winter okay can you tell me in which months all these seasons occur yeah from january to december yes student can you tell me you can type your answer in the comment box okay now let me tell you summer february march april may these four months rainy season june july august september and winter the months of october november december and january okay student have you understood now now tell me which special clothes do we use if it is raining yes student can you tell me it is very easy yes very good we use rain coats if it is raining now can you tell me when do we use woolen clothes yes again it is very easy we use woolen coats in the winter season students now it is the last question in which season do we mainly use thin cotton clothes yes in summer season we use mainly thin cotton clothes okay students have you understood this much now see students you must have noticed that each season last for a particular period and each season occurs at a particular time of the year the scientists observe the weather in a region for many years with the help of such studies they define the mean weather conditions the average weather condition of a place observed over a long period of time is the climate of that region okay students climate is generally expressed as cool and dry or hot and humid or hot and dry etc okay student have you understood what is climate now very good the weather changes quite often due to changes in temperature winds and humidity etc okay student why does the weather changes because of changes in temperature winds and humidity we always experience these changes a sum total of all these elements define weather these affect our day to day activities and lifestyle elements of weather are taken into consideration while describing the climate okay student have you understood now what is weather and what is climate and how does climate affect on our lifestyle yes according to climate we use our food diet clothes okay student have you understood very good so today we have learned about the weather and climate in the next video we are going to learn about elements of weather okay student very good if you have liked this video like it share it to your friends comment below the video subscribe it and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you will get current notification of every new video thank you be connected